Alrighty, here's a simple video on how to add scripts and do other settings in Razor Enhanced. The number one question I get is how to add scripts, so we're going to start with that. Um, so here's me loaded in, default profile, uh, nothing is done. Um, so to add scripts, you can do this one of two ways. You can go to um, my GitHub. Here, we'll go back to the branch. Um, you can download the whole zip. I already have done right here. You open that up, and you see all these scripts here, which is all fine and dandy. And so, if you want to add one of these already pre built ones, um, you will navigate to your Razor Enhance folder. Which, if you set it up like I showed you in the last video, and it'll be in Classic UO, Class Launcher, Classic UO, Data Plugins, Razor Enhanced, and in the scripts folder. They have to be in the scripts folder, it will not work. So, you can either just highlight all. And drag them in or you can drag them in one at a time that is all up to you we will just demo these two so I'll just put those over there so we go back to our razor enhanced onto our scripting tab click add um, you'll find them in the scripts folder it should open up by default but if not I showed you where it was here it is again classic UO uh, data plugins razor enhanced scripts and you double click it you have to do these one at a time add and add and then they're in here so they should be good to go I like to log script errors which will log it to this um, base folder so if there's ever any errors um, you can uh, find them there or it will print it up on screen if you have show script error message which I'd like and then show stop start as well and then for these um, and some others you can have them auto start at login if you'd like um, I like to do it with these two specifically because I always have Vantage Timer running and Vantage Self um, will quit out if you have less than 80 healing the way I have it written. And if you have the show start stop message, you'll see it start in the bottom, you'll see it stop. And Vantage Self, all that fun stuff. So that's way one to add them. Way two is you go new, this will open up the script editor from there. You can go into, so we'll add this one. Um, it's easiest to go raw, so this is all the all the raw data. You can control all, copy, paste, then you go save. And then I like to save them as the name because I do stuff by scripts names occasionally. Just do a copy and paste there. It has to be saved to that file. Make sure there's no space on the end. Save, then you can close this. You get your scripts tab, and there it is. So that's on there now. Um, one question I get to is how to inspect items. So you can go right here is inspect items. So that has all the all the interesting stuff. Main things are serial and item ID that you'll need. <clears throat> and then another thing I get is can you record scripts? You sure can. Hit record, and look at that. It's recording everything. Stop record. Ask me if I want to save. No, I don't. All right, now we'll go over some of the other option tabs. So general, these are all pretty straightforward. You know, light levels, music, all that fun stuff. Options tab. Uh, these are the ones that I like to run. Block dismount and war mode. Uh, I like to filter messages so they don't spam. Um, show incoming names of uh, corpses, peoples, and creatures. Smart last target, which works okay, sometimes not. You'll end up e-bolting your guildies, it'll happen. Um, and range check is always nice. Filters tab. Um, I usually just run these two. Um, if you like to show text above your head of your current target, uh, that'll show over the, over the target, and then uh, show target on head will show you over your head what you're targeting. Agents, auto loot's disabled on this shard. Scavenger. Um, so the main thing with these agents is if this drop down is blank, you need to make sure to add one. Doesn't matter what they're named, but we'll just name it anyways. And then so we can add an item and usually put a delay so it doesn't spam your screen. 600 is kind of my default. You can set a bag. If you don't set a bag, it'll default to your uh, backpack and you click enable. You can have this enable at start on startup as well. Then you'll notice. 
for some reason. It's not working. Interesting. Here, we'll try to add another item. Well, apparently that's not working, but you get the idea. Maybe we need to set the back. Oh, there it goes. So maybe you do need to set it back. Organizer, same thing, you need to add a list. Vendor by, all that's the same. Friends, this one, um, so we'll add a list. I like to keep all these checked. Uh, one thing that's nice here is the guild messages do work if you're running tooltips. So I'll add one. So now anybody in the, with a brave guild tag will be considered friend. Restock, this one's kind of cool. So I'll add one. You have to set the source. We'll set this. Add an item. Add as many as you want. Set how many you want to, to restock you to. Got to set a drag delay or else it won't, won't work properly. And you'll notice it should. Oh, I didn't set a destination bag. There we go. So it opens it and I have it stocked me up to 75. Normally I only carry 30 on this guy. Uh, Banach Hill doesn't work here either. Toolbars I don't use because I use uh, the default class QO ones, which I just think are a little bit nicer because you can just snap them. Targeting. Um, this is one I kind of got away from using as much, but here's how you set it up if you want to. So you'd set it up, name it, add, set your max, distance, min you can leave depending on what you want to do. Uh, select if you want random, nearest, farthest, all that fun stuff. Nearest is usually most common. If you don't want to target humans, if you don't want to target friends, and make sure you hit save and then that's good to go. Skills, hotkeys. Um, hotkeys, how you set these, it's like Make sure to set it here. If you set it here, this is your um, hotkey to enable and disable. See if you know it's there. So I usually don't set one. Um, make sure you, s you set that and then you set a hotkey here. It'll resync. So I'm resyncing. And lots of hotkeys. Um, to set a hotkey for a script, it's in the list down here. So that's usually that's on my mouse button and it stops because I don't have it set up correctly or I don't have a veterinary on this character screenshots if you want to you can change the where it saves to I don't really use this but it's pretty straightforward DPS meter kind of same thing don't really use it but if you want to it's pretty straightforward and that's pretty much it